Hello, banjo lovers. Let's talk about how to uh, buy a cheap or budget banjo. Okay, it's not only to banjos. Okay, uh, nowadays uh, this applies to uh, any budget. Okay, let's say a cheap music instrument like guitar, ukulele whatever okay everything right now okay and uh, let's talk about my experience okay i got uh, uh, lots of instrument okay most they are really budget okay <laughs> instrument right because i my purpose is just have fun okay uh, i really cannot afford okay like a five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars guitar okay and uh, Right, you really need to uh, take care of them. Okay, for me, okay, I know my purpose. Okay, I know, okay, what I what I want. Okay, for example, let's start with this uh, banjo. Okay, recently I just uh, bought this banjo. Right, and uh, nowadays, okay, we can before you decide to buy a, buy an instrument. For example, still okay, talking about banjo. Okay, uh, I check. Okay, what the, the price look like? Okay, and um, after I uh, search it from like a musician friends, whatever, uh, Amazon. Okay, I see oh, okay, there are a bunch of budget uh, price or cheap price. It's around one hundred fifty dollars, even some a little bit lower than this. Okay, and then I uh, go to the YouTube. Okay, or like see some reviews for cheap. Uh, instrument banjo review okay see what kind of brand okay they talk about and uh, and uh, some like this type of you know, many years ago people buy maybe uh, just hundred bucks but right now you know the inflation and the uh, trade war okay with china okay and the price uh, going up okay you know these days okay what's going on right so uh still okay after you uh, decide which brand you want to buy okay do a little bit other research okay one more thing okay we can see lots of like a paid what's called youtuber okay the lots of paid promotions okay they especially for those uh, cheap instrument okay that the brand we never heard of okay those those instruments okay in most cases okay the manufacturer or the company the seller uh, send to them okay they do a review okay i don't really trust them too much okay Basically, I just want to see, okay, how the, those instruments uh, was made, okay, and uh, because the setup thing, okay, lots of those cheap instrument, cheap instrument, they really need a uh, setup, okay. You really have to uh, actually get in your into your hand. You have to uh, get somebody or yourself, okay. You have to uh, do some little adjustment, okay. Those no really big deal, okay. Everybody can do it. Okay, but some people make so big. Okay, but it depends on the people, right? For me, I uh, uh, I take down everything, I put together everything. Okay, so I'm that time type of guy. Okay, uh, but still, I have to do some research. Okay, so see how this thing can be done by myself, right? So those instruments, by the way, okay, they most likely they were uh, uh, already set up. Okay, by the company, by the seller. Okay, so that means when those people do promotion do the demo okay most like oh everything's good okay sure okay they put the extra work okay after that but the, the truth is all those in all these instruments okay let's say they made in china or whatever okay most like 99 percent made in china okay they were qc the quality quali quality team okay actually it's there okay it's not people from here they do some quality control like uh, you, you see the background one of my mandolin over there Okay, there's little tie down there. Okay, the the, the quality quality control. Okay, they put signature on there. That's okay from here. I can tell because that's a uh, English name. All right, I know people put okay uh, do some quality check after that was shaped here. Even that one's made in China. Okay, so what that means? Okay, if you get it labor involved here, you do some setup. Okay some setup or uh, something okay you have to you you is back you pay a little bit more because of labor okay for still for, for the mandolin over there they say okay you can get in your hand 
technician already uh, set up everything, you can play, sure you can play, but okay, I still have to make some minor adjustment, especially for intonation. Okay, so intonation is not that good. Okay, I have to do, I have to do by myself. All right, so you want to, for example, you want that intonation to be perfect, you know, you expect you pay a little bit more. They are much uh, more expensive uh, in mandolin over there. I believe that type, okay, maybe you can just get it in your hand, you play instantly, you don't have to do any adjustment, but not like this type, okay. You still have to pay a little bit more, but you still have to, I still have to do some adjustment, all right. So come, go, come back to this uh, banjo thing, okay. So after you watch the videos, what kind of brand you want to buy, okay, and then do some research. What, what, what type of research you want to do? I look Amazon, okay, any website or review, the buyer's review, okay. Yeah, I see every single one, basically, okay. Like uh, the five-star one or one-star one, okay. So for example, when I see this one, the one-star, okay, they say, all right, I bought this brand, Banjo. Okay, when I got in the hand, okay, the uh, drum head, I have to uh, adjust it, okay, and the, the neck is twisted, okay, I have to do this, do that, okay, I know, okay, that that person is bad too much, okay, is bad too much, all right. At first, okay, so like I said, okay, the intonation thing, this one, I adjust by myself, okay, I have to do it, okay, also, you say, uh, too exaggerated, they say, neck is twisted, sure, when I got this one, the neck, okay, a little bit twisted, but it's easy adjustment, okay, it's just a screw down there, you lose it, you, you, you put this neck back into the right position and tighten up the screw, okay, that's all, all right, so also if, like those string instruments people talk about, like a string buzz, okay, the fret thing, that's adjustable, okay, especially for banjo, okay, you can adjust from bridge, tailpiece, okay, and uh, this uh, co coordinator rod, Okay, also you can adjust from the truss rod, right? Every, so basically it's adjustable, right? So don't be too picky, okay? You want to pay a little bit less or much less, okay? You have to, I mean, put more work from yourself or other people do it, okay? Still, okay, uh, keep that in mind, okay? So uh, that's what this, why those budget instruments or cheap instruments, okay, They're so cheap. Okay, because there's no labor. For example, the guitar I bought, okay, resonant guitar, Rogue, okay, the brand. All right, I can see the sticker, the QC sticker. Okay, there's Chinese in there, in Chinese, there's signature there. Okay, there, that means that cheap budget instrument, there's no labor involved here. Okay, that means this company, okay, they put the brand here. For example, the Yamaha, whatever, okay, the Fender, they're all made in China. They put a little bit price a little bit higher. Why? Because the company here, they do second round uh, quality control. Okay, they adjust the instrument, they put labor into it. That's why the price going up, right? So for that instrument, so that, that means, okay, everything is finished up there. Nobody really touch it here, okay, most likely. That's why the price, they can keep the price so low, right? So, and then another thing you have to look, okay, for me, okay, I check, okay, for, for example, this banjo is called uh, Ash Thor. Okay. Also, there's another brand called J W uh, Jameson or something. Okay. That brand actually more reviews on YouTube, but I didn't buy it. Okay. The reason why is like when I check the website for the manufacturers or the sellers for this brand. Okay. This one. Okay. Has a, a company. Okay. I think in Florida somewhere. Okay. They say. Okay. Also. This brand, okay, they sell not only banjos, they sell other instruments like especially guitar, acoustic guitar and uh, electric guitar. And those reviews you can refer, okay, you can look those reviews, okay. Based on this brand review, when I see the guitars, okay, they're pretty good, okay. The guitar, especially acoustic guitar, I, I really look at, okay, the, 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 the reviewer, okay, review them is pretty good. Maybe, okay, let's say, those reviewers, they really uh, get an instrument, okay, sent by the sellers. But, okay, you can tell, okay, from the uh, the song or workman craftsmanship, okay, it's acceptable, okay, based on price point, okay. And then I know, right, so if guitar, they can make pretty decent guitar, beginner or entry level guitar, okay, this instrument banjo, okay, should be no big difference.
Okay. Also, you can uh, see they have company here. Okay. I know they most likely they don't do any uh, quality 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 control or something or do adjustment here. Okay. But okay, at least okay you have you know okay there's company here you can contact some after uh after after what's called the quality thing you know if you want to return something. Okay, also if you buy from Amazon or eBay, okay, look the uh, return policy. Okay, when I bought this one, it just say okay return accepted, but there's no details. Okay, I don't actually I don't tend, I don't I don't want to return usually. I know most likely this one is okay. Okay, but you know you don't know the details about it. Okay, like Amazon usually is really clear. Okay, they say it's, you can return it a free return. But on eBay, I didn't really say anything about this brand. This is it's acceptable. I don't know who's gonna uh, uh, responsible for the uh, shipping cost if I return this in instrument. Okay. For example, if I bought this one with uh, for one hundred fifty bucks, I return it. I pay another fifty dollars, thirty dollars. I think about it. So what's the point? Okay. Right. So, and uh, yeah. So uh, when you uh, try to uh, when you decide, okay, to buy some. Uh, cheap or budget instrument okay keep these things in mind okay to check okay the youtube videos and the check the reviews okay and the check okay if other people leave bad reviews okay you have to analyze okay if that's the tool exaggerated or if uh, there's a people's problem or not a problem for the instrument or that instrument okay if it really has that problem is that fixable by yourself okay just think about it Okay, and uh, and uh, another thing, okay, why the instrument is cheap as the material, the hardware, okay, for example, the people worry about like a tuner, the thing, okay, hardware, okay, I don't really worry about those too much, okay, and those things, for this one, it really keep in tune, okay, no problem, I, but the, when you, when I tune this one, I can feel some roughness, okay, it's not really perfect, but according to the price point, okay, it's acceptable. Okay, it depends on the personal uh, reference. Okay, if you cannot really uh, take that low quality hardware, okay, just look for some more expensive thing. Because, you know, again, okay, the cheap price actually based on two things combined together. The first thing, the hardware is there. Okay, they have to keep the cost low. Another one is the labor involved into this instrument. Right, so uh, keep these things in mind. Okay, so uh, choose your uh, instrument wisely.